Thank you, GoPro, for this fantastic hat. This thing is super comfortable and super warm, and uh, I love it. Thank you. I am rolling in the wife's van today. Look at it. I have all the seats folded down. Gotta love that stow and go seating. It's pretty awesome. But I have to go take a bunch of flowers to the place where Ryan's getting married tomorrow. Yay for Ryan! But uh, we have a couple other things we have to do today, so we're gonna get into that. Okay, you guys are gonna start hearing me say a lot in the end of my videos because I think people need to be reminded, even I need to be reminded sometimes, we all do. And you're gonna hear me say, be somebody. Damn it, boy, be somebody! The reason I say that is because you have two options in life. You can be everybody or you can be somebody. And unfortunately, there's more people in this world nowadays being everybody than there are people being somebody. Let me explain to you what I mean about that. And from now on in all my videos, you're going to hear me say at some point, maybe even at the end of each one, I don't know, but you're going to hear me say be somebody because I think we all need that reminder, like I said. But in the last like month, almost every single video I have made YouTubers with far bigger channels than me have made the same exact videos, okay? Now, uh, you know, a lot of them will just say uh, some of the more obvious ones are ones on how to grow your lawn care business, how to do marketing, um, residential versus commercial, things like that. All things that I've made videos on. And after I made those videos, some of these other channels have come out with the same exact videos. Now, I am all for people, you know, making the same video, but giving their perspective on it and showing, okay, this is how I do it. Maybe you can get some. But these guys, other than changing the words around a little bit, have literally copied every single thing I've said in these videos so they're not being somebody they're not being their own person they're being everybody they're being just like everybody else and that doesn't just apply to YouTube that applies to your life in general when you're running your business don't do what everybody else is doing do your own thing be your own person Jason Ambrose says it the best his channel from day one from the beginning his slogan has always been um, now I'm gonna screw it up stay original or no always original his channel has always been his slogan is always original and so many people have copied that and tried to emulate everything that he did but he's the original one with that he's the one and he still to this day keeps it original he doesn't do the same videos everybody else does he keeps it original and does his own thing and that's what you should do in life not only for youtube but for your business your personal life being everybody you're a follower when you're being somebody, you're making your own path in life. You're doing your own thing, and I think the best, the most successful YouTube channels around are guys that do their own thing. You know how many millions of people out there try to start up YouTube channels every year that try to be Casey Neistat? Casey Neistat's the bomb, and he's a bomb for a reason, because he does his own thing, and he doesn't care what anybody thinks, and he does things his way. So don't be everybody, be somebody. I wanna know your secret. Well, tomorrow is Ryan's wedding. He's getting married, and we spend all day setting up flowers and stuff at the place where he's getting married with his soon to be wife. And it's gonna be a fun day tomorrow, for sure. But first, we need to go try to unsink a tractor. There's a tractor that we have to pick up, it was purchased and we tried to get it last week when it was still really cold out and this old tractor is insanely heavy has all steel wheels and it was like three inches down in the ground frozen to the ground we had ryan's f450 which i'm in right now hooked to i believe it was like a 30 or 35 foot flatbed gooseneck fifth wheel trailer with a uh, 12,000 pound winch we put a snatch block in it to double the pulling power and hooked up to the front of this tractor and it pulled Ryan's f450 and the trailer all the way back to the tractor 
so that thing wasn't moving it was frozen right into the ground so what we're gonna do now is we are going to go over there it's been in the 40s the last couple days and we're gonna go over there and hook a chain onto it and then a chain on the back of the 450 here and lock the front hubs and we're gonna see if we can pull it forward if we can pull it forward like a foot or so and get it out of where it's sunk so that it's up on the stone driveway um, then we can go back next week Monday or Tuesday with the uh, gooseneck trailer and the winch and pull it up onto the trailer but it's supposed to drop down in the 20s after today so I don't know today's our shot if we don't get this thing broke loose today then it could be another few weeks so let's see what we can do of water all over under these wheels. She'll come out of there, dude. It come up far. she's loaded up that winch pulled her right up that is one heavy tractor
I'm not thinking. 